appreciate. We never had, the Jewish people never had a war against Christianity, God forbid, or against the Muslims. We have problems with our cousins, with those who are our, our neighbors just now, the people who were born to the country. We wanted to convince them only on one fact, that Israel is the homeland of the Jewish people. But we should not ignore the idea that everyone who was born to these territories, to this land, of course it is his homeland as much as it is ours. Because of that, we have established the state of Israel as a Jewish democratic state. We don't have a constitution in Israel Kingdom because we have two minorities. One are the Arabs, who are saying how we can define through constitution Israel as a Jewish state while you say that it is a democratic one. Because if it is a democratic state, it should be the state of all its citizens. And we say yes, and we can promise you that there is no way that we will run the Jewish state unless it would be a democratic. But you, our cousins, have to understand. There is no other place in the world for the Jewish place but the land of Israel to establish the homeland. We have no other possibility to establish any place in the world as the state of Israel. 100 years after the returning home of my family, the Zionist movement was created by Herzl. And he saw the threat and the intimidation to the Jewish people in Europe at the time, even 20 years before Hitler and before fascism. After Dreyfus um, trial in France, and he has said, we have to save the Jewish people. Let's establish a Jewish state somewhere else because it's almost impossible to establish a Jewish space at the Holy Land in uh, Israel. And he came to the Jewish Congress and he was putting in front of them the plan of a new Jewish state in Uganda. When he was standing on the podium, and he was talking about the savior of the Jewish people talking about Uganda. He saw many people are getting up from their chairs and going outside of the hall of the hall. When he finished his speech, he was very much satisfied about the idea of establishing the Jewish state as independent one. He asked his assistants. I saw many people leaving the hall while I was talking and preaching for the establish of a Jewish state in Uganda. Why did they leave the hall? They said, we go there in the Lord. He went out to the Lord and he saw all those Jews. Most of them were from Ukraine, from Russia, very much educated, and they were under the idea of Zionism as a political movement, and Zionism means Zion. And Zion is a nickname of Jerusalem, which means the state of Israel, the heart of the state of Israel, the idea of the state of Israel, the idea of Zionism as a political movement to save the Jewish people should be connected to Jerusalem. Without Jerusalem, there are no Zionism. More than 150 years after that, we brought our, our brothers from Ethiopia, black Jews, new immigrants, almost 400,000. And they are praying already for 3,000 years because they were the people who were born at the time of the uh, Queen of Sheba. And they remained in Ethiopia for many years and they were praying and uh, fulfilling and their worship to God through the Torah, through the eldest Torah that was brought to the Jewish people during the kingdom of uh, Solomon.
So they are praying to Jerusalem, which means Israel, everything, Zionism is Jerusalem first. And I'm going to come to Jerusalem. But we have to say, to understand what, how astonished was Herzl when he saw those people crying. He asked them, my brothers, why are you crying? We are on the threshold of salvation for the Jewish people. We are going to establish a new state. They said to him, if you take Jerusalem, if you intend to build us a home in Uganda or any other place, why we need Zionism? Zionism is Jerusalem. Judaism is Jerusalem. And thanks God, since we had the opportunity, because we did not declare war also in 67, we said to our neighbors, if you would not interfere, we are not going to touch you. Let's find a way to wait till the King of the Jews will return, the Son of God will return, whatever, according everyone, according to his beliefs, and we will ask him at the time. But you have to understand, since 67, every human being, every believer who would like to worship God according to his belief can do it in Israel was not able before that. And because of that, we have to keep Jerusalem united in order to give the opportunity to everyone who worship God according to his own belief to come and to be free to worship God according to his system, according to his belief, according to his ideology. And it could happen only if we keep Jerusalem united. Now, the Jewish people, our religion, and nation, and we found more and more support from brothers like you, from people who support the idea that there is no way to get to the Dutch, that there is no way to bring peace to the whole world, but by the way, trusting the promise of God to let the people of Israel live in the Holy Land, live in the promise. We are trying to convince our friend the Palestinians that the need of the Jewish people to return back to their own land is not against them. We didn't come as imperialists. It is not something that goes against the interest of the Arab people or the Muslim people. We would like to live together because we are not doomed to live together. Because our destiny is to live together. We know that you say, Palestinians, that they would not like to be a compensation to the Jewish people before because what all other nations did to them during the years, during the time that they were exiled all over the world. No, you have to understand, we have returned to our homeland. And when you say it's our homeland, yes, maybe there is a conflict between two sides, between two people. Both of them believe that they are on the right side. Nevertheless, the Jewish people have no other alternative but to insist there is no other place for Jews to exist as nation but in the land of Israel. If you don't if you can't accept it, take it as axiom. I cannot prove it, and I don't need to prove it. I have returned back along with my family 150 years before the Holocaust because, and we were very well treated in Vilna at the time, because we believed that we should return back to our home. You are great friends of us, because when you say that there is no other place for the Jewish people but to express themselves is in the Holy Land, in the Protestant.